let's recap. You try to get away from me. I beat you up, and now I'm webbing you up. And now you get to go to jail. Congratulations! Stay here. Hold it right there! Uh, lady? Whoa. Well? I mean, uh, freeze! Trust me, honey. I'll never run anywhere away from you. Take it easy, lady. I'm your biggest fan. And I gotta say, I've seen you on the news, and you're much hotter in person. Hold on a second! Ugh! Ugh! Sorry, sweetie! It's all my business! That was embarrassing. But is it possible that she actually could be a fan? Ha! <laughs> yeah, right, Parker. You're such an idiot! Yes, Mr. Jameson, I'll have it done by this afternoon. Hey, what's up, Betty? Oh, hey, Peter. Are you okay? I'm just stressed. Jonah is driving me crazy. Yeah, I know the feeling. Well, I got some time. What do you need? Well, do you think you can put these into the data tracking system? Sure. What are they? Just classified ads and such. Do you need help logging them? Nah. I can figure it out. Thanks, Pete. You're my hero. <sighs> it's nice to have this one person in the city say those words. Apartment. Dog. Dog. Oh. My. God. Spider, I would like to see you again. Meet me tonight at the same rooftop as last night. Love the black cat. P.S. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Okay, Parker, this is nothing to be nervous about. Just stick to your game plan, man. I mean, yeah, so what? You're hot, she's hot, you're both caked in spandex, and uh, what was my point again? Man, I've got to be an idiot to be here right now. Hey, Spider. Whoa! Okay, first of all, keep your distance, lady. Second of all, putting that huge ad in the newspaper, it basically told every villain out there, hey, come try and kill us. And third... Look, Spider, I just wanted to apologize for the night. Hmm. For real? Yeah. Well, okay, I guess. But this is what I don't understand. Why do you do all this? The whole thief thing. I mean, do you really need all the crap you steal? What gives? You wouldn't understand. Try me. <laughs> okay. Long story short, my father did this. He was killed by I don't know who. It was his passion, so I took it on. This is all I know. So what else am I supposed to do? You could help people. I mean, look at you. You're strong, smart, great looking. You can get any guy you want. Plus, you got these crazy superpowers. I don't have superpowers. You don't have superpowers. 
Hmm, okay, well let's see here. No, that does not make me feel any better about our first encounter. Sorry. I can get any guy I want. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Me? Me what? How old are you anyways? 38, and you? <laughs> yeah, right. So, you gonna show me what the superhero thing is all about, or what? Lady, your wish is my command. You wanna get stuck with this? You know what this can do? The black cat just sunk a right hook. With three seconds left, she goes for the three-pointer. Spidey hops in with the web, and it's good! Remember, a life is a life. We save everyone, no matter what the situation. Think of it like the food chain. Scumbags go for the helpless targets, we go for the scumbags. It's simple, but it works. Hey, sorry we took so long. Well, geez, don't look at me. It was her fault. Hey, I'm warning you again. Now, you be a pretty little girl and follow the rules. We won't have to cut that pretty little face of yours. <laughs> now, you stay put. You and me now, darling. What the hell? Change of plans, darling. I reckon you're going away for a long time, you hear? Scumbag. Good job, Spider. Ditto, cat. Now, what do you say we go take out Frankie the Scumbag's entire drug warehouse? What's up, it's Frankie. Yeah. Now I'm down at the warehouse. These guys, man, they move so slow and it's gonna be my butt. They need to pick it up. Okay, step one. We gotta take out his entire crew nice and quiet like. Aw, oh, for me? Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have. You coming by? Yeah, maybe you can straighten them out a little bit. I'm ready to Yoink! Hey, I, I gotta go. I'll call you. Step two, take out the source. This does look pretty good. See, I told you you'd have fun. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is yet another night of satisfied customers. Hey, Kat, good job tonight. You know, we're really starting to get into a little groove here. Hey! Come over tonight. Come over? I don't know what it is about you, Spider, but I want you bad. Are you serious? There. What? You don't want me, Spider? Well, yeah, but you don't even know who I really am. All you know is Spider-Man. What about my secret identity? I... I gotta think about this. Keep it on. My mask? It would be exciting. Hmm. Makes sense. You know, I think it's official. You're a genius. Oh, hey, Peter. Jeez, you're in a good mood. I guess you could just say a lot of really good things have been happening to me lately. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Oh wait, hey! This guy called for you earlier. Said it was urgent. Didn't leave a name. Hmm. Sweet little Peter Parker isn't becoming a little homewrecker now, is he? I seriously doubt that. Thanks. Peter, I'm glad you called. Who is this? My name is Reed Richards. I'm contacting you because we need your help and we don't have much time. I really think you might have me confused with someone else. I don't know you. Peter, I know you're Spider-Man. 
I know who you are. We need to meet immediately. The fate of the world is in our hands. Hello? Cat, it's me. Spider! Where are you? I'm just downtown. Look, something really big is going down. I have to go away for a while. Away? You better not be villain on me. Of course not. Look, I'm not even supposed to be telling you this. But there's some kind of big thing going down involving all the top superheroes, and from what these guys are telling me, I have to be a part of it. I don't want to leave you, Cat. But this is my responsibility. I mean, even Captain America's going. Like, THE Captain America? Yeah! Captain freaking America! Well, I'll go with you. I don't think you can. They handpicked, like, a bunch of us with certain powers. I'm not even supposed to be telling you. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm proud of you. You just gotta promise you'll come back to me. Look, I promise. You'll be the first one I call when I get back. Alright. Well, I gotta go. But I promise you, I'll be back soon. Alright. Bye. Mr. Fisk, Felicia Hardy, a.k.a. the Black Cat, is here to see you. The Black Cat, huh? That ungrateful little bitch. Is she still unaware of our involvement in her father's death? She's clueless, sir. Send her over. Ah, Miss Hardy, have a seat. To what am I owed this visit? Look. The word on the street is that you have connections to people that produce superhuman powers. Oh, oh, oh. I know where this is leading. Afraid that little chump of a boyfriend of yours might trade you in for an upgrade? Where is the young man anyway? Haven't seen him around. He's out of town on business, and that is not the reason. I just don't want to slow him down. Hmm, I see. Well, you know I'm a busy man, and you've worked for me before. You know, I don't believe in handouts. What do you want? Hammerhead. I'm not killing anyone for you. Ha ha ha. The cat has found a conscience. I'm not asking you to kill anyone, Miss Hardy. Hammerhead has been meddling where he shouldn't be, and I want you to get everything that you can on him so that I can handle him appropriately. So, if I do this, you can give me superpowers. You have my word. Permission to speak, Mr. Fisk. Speak. You find it wise to trust this woman? Oh, Richard, you know me better than that. I will give her her powers, but trust me, they will bring them more harm than good for our newfound dynamic duo. <laughs> Come on, let's do this fight. Alright. Let me too. Hey Frank, I'm glad you could join us. What are you talking about? The boss had to rescue you again. Cut it out. Alright, I don't want to hear it. Why did I have to pay to get you out of here? You know what? Both of you want that. You want that? You want that? This thing came out of nowhere. Explain it. Right? I've, already, I've already gone over. I've gone over it a million times. You Speak ain't it Where is the other guys? I don't care about the other guys. I've got you out because you're supposed to be my number one guy, but hasn't been showing it too much. I told you, I am going to take care of this thing and I'm going to even it up. Oh yeah, you're going to take care of it. And I just kind of want to know how you got caught. <laughs> your boss is number one and you're afraid of the kitty cat? You know what, you ain't mad, all right? The, the kitty cat. I'm telling you right now, done knocking. Because I'll tell you what. A kitty cat? I'm going to play in what? No, I want to know about this kitty cat. I want to know how my number one, was number one, hmm? is going to get some revenge. I already said I am going to make this right. I promise you, you bailed me out, I owe you, I know it, and I'm going to take care of it. I'll tell you what, the next time I see this goddamn cat, I'm going to take all nine of her lives.
What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Expecting your call. And now for our top breaking story. Our heroes have returned. Captain America, Iron Man, the Fantastic Four, as well as many others have miraculously returned from an undisclosed location today after being gone for nine days. Avengers frontman Captain America states that they are back and will resume their duties of defending innocent people worldwide. On an interesting side note, several New York locals have taken notice to a change in our very own Spider-Man. There is no footage or photos of this apparent change, but sources tell us that he has in fact a darker look. Channel 5 will keep you updated on Spider-Man's new image. Okay, now that is hot. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Did you make it? Not exactly. My other suit got trashed on the Beyonder world and Reed found this crazy compound and it became this. It strengthens my powers tenfold. I've never felt this good. Excuse me? Well, maybe I should rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see this baby in action. <laughs> that all about? Yeah, no sweat. Man, that felt great. Spider-Man, we're back in action. What are you talking about? Didn't you see me? I was all over the place. This doesn't make any sense. Really? I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, thanks. Hey, how'd you get so fast anyway? What's it matter? What's it matter? Okay, okay. So maybe when you're gone, I picked up some superpowers. From where? Wilson Fisk. Wilson Fisk, the kingpin of freaking crime? He's a murderer. What kind of powers would he give you? He gave me bad luck powers against my opponents. They stumble and screw up. It gives me an advantage during battles. That's why I was on retard status down there. Oh, uh, well, I probably don't know how to control him just yet. Sounds like sabotage. Maybe this is a sabotage. Jeez, What'd jealous. you say? Forget it. I can't believe you're working for the kingpin of crime. I'm not. What are you, stupid? What is wrong with you? Why are you acting like this? It just pisses me off to know that as soon as I go off to help the good of mankind, you go back to your old ways. Old oh, ways? I did this for you. Who's you, the spider you keep referring to me by? Or the real me? Peter. You know I care about you. Just put your mask back on and let's go patrol. Yeah, put my mask back on. Because no one wants to be seen with a nerd like Peter Parker. That's not true. Yes, it is. You know what? When I was gone, I found something that does care about the real me. Something? What are you talking Forget about? Forget it! You wouldn't understand. We're out of here. Where? Wait! Sorry, Cat, but making deals with a murderer doesn't impress us. Uh, I mean me. Whatever, I'll deal with her later. Man, this suit is amazing. I've never felt this alive. Fighting alongside the best of the best on another planet for nine days was a great experience, but it does nothing for my bank account. Rent's due next week and I'm broke. Looks like it's time to show this city the new and improved Spider-Man. No sidekick required. Unless we're talking about this glorious new suit. Black suit, you are gonna save me time and money. You obey my mental commands and even produce your own webbing. Two thumbs up for me, buddy. Let's see what these two clowns think let's of us. Go, let's go! Come on, man, come on! The train, man, we stuck on something! Happy Halloween, mother! <laughs> We're back in black, baby! I do 
do not understand what you are. But right now, I really don't care. Ever since you came about, all my feelings of emptiness have somehow disappeared. I don't understand it, but I'm not complaining. This is long overdue. It's just like Uncle Ben has always said, if you hang in there and give it your all, sooner or later, good things will have to follow. I believe that now more than I ever have. Gonna ignore me or what? Hello? You're not talking to me? Something's wrong. What the hell is this supposed to be? Some Spider Man. Hey, that's pretty cool. New Spider Man? Yeah, he's changed. I'll say. He's gone from looking like a brightly colored lollipop to a black suited criminal. At least now the city knows what he's really all about. What's that supposed to mean? It's obvious. With this new costume, he can go on mugging old women and hopping from vault to vault, and we won't see him coming. You don't understand, that's more than just costume. Easy, bucko. Didn't mean to insult your boyfriend's new leotard. What's with you nowadays, Parker? Why so edgy? Just under a little stress. Stress. Welcome to my world! Now get out of here and get a little check from Ms. Brand. Parker! Forget it. You're all right. Where have you been? What are you talking about? I've been trying to contact you for three days now. Three days? Yes, three days. No response, no sightings, nothing. I've been running a lot of tests on the sample I kept of your suit, and I've found some very dangerous things. Like what? Well, for starters, your suit is in fact a living organism. A symbiote, to be precise. It attaches to a host, and from there, it tries to form a bond. It seems to be sensitive to certain sonic waves produced from sound. 
I need you over here as soon as possible for testing. Okay, I'll, I'll come right now. Look, Peter, be careful on your way over. Do not for any reason put that suit back on. It's too dangerous. It might actually try something. We can't risk it. Fine. Peter? Hello? Peter? How can something that's done nothing but help me try and hurt me all of a sudden? It's not possible. Reed's just paranoid. Let's go get your name cleared. Reed's going senile if he thinks you're dangerous. I'm actually excited to get there so we can rub it in his face that he's wrong. <laughs> An alien costume? Okay, Reed, let's see you prove this one, smart guy. What? Come on, come on, Webb, come on! Shh. <laughs> That's never happened before. I'm about to tell Reed about this. Hey! Ugh. Ugh. What is with this thing? God, it's almost like it's trying to stop. No! Ah! Ah! Reed was right! This thing is alive! Ah! Gotta get it off of me! Ah! move. It's punishing me. It's trying to establish its dominance. Seems to be sensitive to certain sonic waves produced with sound. Wait, I feel a weakening. This is gonna take everything I got. It's my only chance. Understand that's more just costume, more just costume.
saw that damn symbiote as a way to connect with something, with someone. I've never felt this pathetic, this ashamed. And yet the fact still remains that the one person I wish I could reach out to right now wants absolutely nothing to do with me. We should try scene six. Okay. I just don't understand why we can't make this work. Brian, I've told you already. Your life, your career, I just can't handle it anymore. But you said yourself, I'm all you've ever wanted in a man. Yeah, but... I just don't understand. If you've always known this is what I do, then why did you reach out in the first place? Why are you here now? Because I still love you. Well, then come back to me. Mary Jane, you all right? Oh, sorry. I just got distracted. It's cool. Do you want to start on... I still love you, or come back to me. Mary Jane. I think I made a mistake. Well, it's not important to just start on. No. I'm really sorry. I have to go. Mary Jane, what about the lines? Hello? Hey there, Tiger. Mary Jane? What? Did you forget about me? No! How are you? Can we talk in person? Yeah. Sure, when? Right now. Um... Yeah, sure. Can you meet me at the park? Okay. I'll be right there. Okay. Head of a bridge club now, so things are getting pretty hectic. So, what about you and your exciting life? I'd heard they call working for J. Jonah and James and all that exciting. What? Peter, look, I did a lot of thinking when I was in California. I thought about my life, my dreams, my goals, everything. And it all seemed empty without you. I need you, Peter. But I need all of you. But you do have all of them. No, I don't. I don't understand. Peter. I know. Know what? I know about what you do. I know you're Spider-Man. How? Back in high school. I saw you jump out of your bedroom window in your costume. So, you've known all this time? You never said anything? It's the reason I left for California. I couldn't handle it. I was scared, Peter. I was selfish. MJ, I wanted to tell you. I really did, from the first day it happened. But I couldn't risk your safety. If anything ever happened to you... I understand. It's okay. I just need to know how you feel right now. Are you ready to let me back into your life with no secrets? MJ, if something happens... Do you love me? I always have. And then that's all that matters. Okay. Yeah, this is Brock. I got your page. Listen, I got a lead on that one story we were talking about. What? What are you talking about? Spider-Man? I'm fired? You can't fire me! I'm Eddie... I want it done today. No excuses. You're out of here. Got it? Good. Mr. Jameson, there's an Eddie Brock on the line for you in regards to the job opening you listed in the paper. Ha! Eddie Brock. What line? Line one. Speak! Hey, Mr. Jameson, how you doing? This is Eddie Brock. Uh, listen, I was calling in regards... Hey, listen, Brock. You're done. Finished. You're a liar. A laughingstock. 
a fraud. If you so much as walk into this building, I'll throw you on the street myself. But Mr. James, oh, please. And a piece of advice. Find a new career, because you sure as hell blew it with this Mr. one. Jameson, understand that wasn't my Have a nice day. Please, Eddie Brock has been reported today to be a fraud. Spider-Man has, in fact, captured the true Sin Eater and has turned him over to authorities today. No quote has been retrieved by Mr. Brock as of yet, but the Daily Globe has decided to terminate Mr. Brock's position and has issued an apology to everyone Although involved. Although that black suit made him act like an ass, he definitely turned me on. What do you think? Me too. Let's go get that man back. Hey, Cat. Hey, Spider. So, what you been up to? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm back with Mary Jane. Are you happy? Yeah. I, uh, I really am. Well, here. I made you this new suit. Oh, cat. Plus, you look better in black. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, uh, I should probably get going. Yeah, me too. Take care of yourself, cat. You too, spider. I'll see you around. Yeah. See you in the It's just like Uncle Ben has always said. If you hang in there, give it your all. Sooner or later, good things will have to fall out. I believe that now more than I ever have. My mind is rage and glory. My heart is fire and pride. My body is grace and power. I am craven. I have found dignity in the jungles. Honor in the primal. Meaning in the hunt. I have left behind my treasures. Abandoned my life of wealth. To prepare for something more. To prepare for the ultimate hunt. I will capture. I will destroy. I am craven.